Hi everyone, so I hope everyone is staying safe and being quarantined in their home. Um, right now we're actually going to go to Malibu to go to the grocery store to grab a few things. And I also wanted to pick up some food. So I don't really trust like delivery drivers because you don't know whether they're sick or not. And I trust the restaurants enough to where I feel like they're not going to allow sick people to work in their restaurant. So yeah, you just don't know what the delivery drivers. So because they're not taking their temperature and everything. In China, when you order food, they are taking their temperature and they write it down on your package. And so I feel like that's just way safer. I wish that the US was taking extra precaution in, in terms of that, but they're not. So I haven't really been trusting with delivery food or getting things delivered or Uber Eats or Postmates, none of that. I'm just kind of like, I don't wanna do it anymore. And we usually have no problem with that. You guys know we order food all the time. And so order food and groceries, but today I would just like, and I just like didn't wanna do that. So we're gonna go out and do it ourselves. I wanted to show you guys what I have in my bag just because i usually um i usually like showing you guys like what i keep in here week to week and it has been changing so i took my hrh pouch out just because i wanted to be a little bit more minimalistic and i'm not carrying cash with me so there's no reason to carry like the coins and everything i think i have i had to put all my cash away because i didn't want to risk it with you know like exchanging cash and like the possibility of having the virus live on my cash so anyway i'm just using cards now so i have my iphone 6 in here <laughs> I have my Kiehl's hand cream, this is a must. I have my charger for my phone because it dies like four times a day. And then I have my Chanel sunglasses, which I'm actually gonna put on right now. So, because we're gonna go out anyway. And then I have my mini pochette. I just have like everything that I usually throw in my bag and just have it loose, I have it in here. And then I have my little bottle of hand sanitizer. Right now I'm using my Saint Laurent card holder. So I have my train card or like the train and the bus card for the tap. And then I have two of my debit cards in there, a Bloomingdale's gift card, and then I have my driver's license there. So I just have everything in there. I have some credit cards in this slot here and also some band-aids just in case. I always like to have band-aids with me because I've gone to so many parties and so many like events and stuff where I need a band-aid or someone else needs a band-aid. So I felt like it was just proper to do that. And then I also have wet wipes and then I just have my house key in there so that's everything that's in my bag right now I don't think it's going to change for a while just because I'm not really going out and doing stuff and I'm not I'm also not using cash so this is just really convenient for that I was going to pick up a Chanel card holder because um I've always wanted one like the accordion one but that one took up a lot more space in the bag and I felt like if you know I just want to use this and make sure that I really like it but I just noticed a what Okay, yeah, that's not cool. I just noticed that the seam is like popped right there where it usually goes over. I literally just saw that. Like on this side, it's like, on this side it's fine. It like loops that way, but this side it popped. I don't know how. I know you guys can see that. What the heck? Wow, I just noticed that. Um, Hopefully they'll be able to fix it once everything is like, done and over with that really sucks i don't know i saw that yesterday and i was like oh i can just burn it to like you know have the thread go down but i feel like once it gets smaller and smaller it's just gonna like unravel that really sucks because the only other wallet that i have besides this one is my victorine wallet and that wallet is a little bit big and cumbersome and it doesn't really match with this bag but I mean, it's kind of sad Anyway, I'm just gonna put everything in here. I haven't been using my phone just because it's an iPhone 6 and it's really slow. I'm supposed to get my 11 today, but I'm waiting for UPS to deliver it. I don't know if it's gonna be delivered today or tomorrow. So I'm kind of like, I don't wanna wait around for it because I don't even think it's gonna come today. It just says destination scan. It doesn't say out for delivery or anything. So it kind of sucks, but I can't wait to get it. I'm so excited. I'm gonna do an unboxing, of course. So hopefully, hopefully it comes in and I can do that tomorrow. But I also still just got a clear case for it because I was going to get like one of like the wildflower or the caseify cases, but I felt like because I wanted Luna's picture on the back and also maybe another picture from one of our trips, I wanted, I wanted to just get a clear case and put my own photos in the back. I think it's really cool and it makes it really simple and you can still see like the white because I did just get the white one. So yeah, and then I'll, like I said, I'll show you guys that in a bit, but my sanitizer and then my hand cream 
I need to get another one. I went to Aesop yesterday and they did actually were closed. So I thought they were going to be open because their, their store doesn't really house a lot of people. But I think just all stores in general are closed. But yeah, okay. I'm going to import some footage and I'm going to try to get that video out for you guys today. And then I'll vlog when we head out. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. dog with onions yes and um, no mustard um, also chili cheese fries yes um, with uh, no onions no onions. yeah no no yeah I'm sorry uh, for here yeah Okay, two of them, two, and two of them Yes. sad about that but hopefully it gets here tomorrow i just really want to like transfer everything because this phone is so slow and it makes me not want to use it so yeah i hope i get it tomorrow <laughs> oh hello hello pretty girl oh what <laughs> oh, you're so cute. This is why you have to wear sunscreen in the house. Because that light reflects and it's UV rays. Hi. You lay down. Wow. Oh, you're so cute. Hello.
I'm gonna go ahead and organize all of this because it's just so messy to my eye. So I wanna like throw some stuff out and just clean everything out. Okay, so this is before. I'll show you guys after. So I just cleaned out my foundations. This is everything that I have in here. I love these squeezy bottles for, well, they're not squeezy bottles, like it has a pump in it, but I like these for traveling. And I also have like my foundation sticks in here, some primers. And then in here, I decided to put some of my palettes because I wasn't really reaching for them. I don't do crazy makeup looks, but every once in a while, I'll come in here and get one. This is my glow powder. I'll probably end up using this one in a few months. And then I was able to push all of my lip products up here because it was all just scattered in there. I'll put these lip oils in here too. I really like this one as well. This one's good. It's from Lila B. And then in here, I just have some stock. I have some concealers in here and some like just face products and makeup removers. And then in here I have some of my setting powders and then also some stock. I have castor oil, this facial spray and uh, bronzer. And then in here I have my concealers. These are all of the concealers that I really like and that I feel like I'm gonna use. In here I have my brow, my brow pencils and also some mascara once I don't have lash extensions anymore. And because of the virus, my lash tech is not taking any clients. So if she doesn't take any within like three weeks, then I'll remove my lashes myself and then just start using mascara and like a bunch of castor oil. And then in here, I have a bunch of glow products, my sparkly eyeshadows, which I love. I love the Marc Jacobs one and the Beauty People. These are my two favorite. And I also have a... Did I just say also? I also have a Natasha Denona, which is one of my favorites, but I think that's in my makeup bag. So that's that. And then I have just those big palettes that I can't put in here. So I'm going to try to figure out how to organize this. Oh, I also want to put this one in here. I'm going to also see what else I can fit in here. I just have too much down here. Oh, I have some Innisfree products. Okay, this is my progress so far. I don't know what I'm going to do with this phone. I think I might just drop it into one of those recycling ports because I just have no use for this. I'm not going to pay like $600 just to get it fixed only because that's how much the iPhone 11 is and I just think it's kind of silly. So I don't think I'm going to do anything with this. I am going to take the SIM card out and put it in the iPhone 6 to give to someone else. So yeah, I'm just kind of like, I'm not really feeling this right now. So... Until I decide what to do with that, I think I'll just leave it there. I don't know. I just feel like that's a bit much when the new iPhones are like $700, just $100 more. It's just too much. And then if I wait even longer, I think the inside will erode and they'll have to replace the whole thing, which I don't know. I feel like the price might be cheaper later on, but you never know. I mean, I think the screen is an OLED screen, so it just all depends. And they don't even sell the iPhone 10 anymore. They only sell the XS, I believe. So that kind of sucks, but this is my progress. I have the foundations in here, lip products here, and the palettes and stuff. So these are things that I will reach for the most just because I'm always looking for a new foundation or something to switch up. So I have my lip products in there, a few blushes, and then I just have my beauty sponges lined up right there. The beauty blender is in here, and then I have a Juno sponge back there that I haven't touched. I still have my setting sprays here my makeup bag. These are the first three things that I take out. So the mirror, my makeup bag, and then this, um, this brush holder. And then I'll just pick out one of the facial sprays to use. And then I have my eucalyptus and my oils there. This is a little thing that Esperanza gave us. I don't know if we'll be able to go back because we actually had a trip planned for early May and I think Mexico just closed the borders on us. So I don't know if we'll be able to go by then. And then in here, I just have the other two like stockpile pile makeup and skincare stuff. I have some palettes up here, some lashes up there just cause I didn't want it like sitting on the top cause it just makes it look messy. And then these are just some hair products that I use every day. Sometimes I'll just come here and start doing my makeup and then I'll want to spray my hair. So I have those there. These are my three pouches. I have the Glossier that I travel with for skincare for like face masks. This one is just here. I have so many face masks in there. I love this clear pouch. I got it with Carly's products from, I think it was, was it InStyle or Allure? It was her collaboration with Allure and I love this bag just because it's see-through. So I kind of want to put this one in my bag that I have right now, but I don't know. It kind of has a lot. Some spare brushes. This is my back acne spray. I use this every night. Here I have my Kanuka products. You can find these at Ulta. They're a little bit pricey, but I think they're worth it. They really work for me and I use it after I get off of the Peloton. If my body feels sore or something, I'll just rub myself with that. And then down here, 
I have some like film that I have to go get developed. That one's in the camera right now, but I have like two that I have to get developed. And then the bottom portion here, I have some stationery. I have my nail products in there. These are just some stationery like pens and Sharpies and stuff. I got those off of Amazon. And then this is my DJI Osmo. This is like miscellaneous products. I have no idea what the hell is in there. This is like a sample from Sweet Sweat because I have the sweatband. Oh, I was looking for this. This is my luggage tag for my Speedy. Forgot that was there. This is one of those rings that you guys were asking me for the bag that shall not be named. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all of like my... Ugh, I'm, I'm going to throw away those ears because... I don't even really like Disneyland. I just have those because I went one time. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my whole thing. I don't really know what else to do. I feel like it's organized. I didn't even get rid of mud, which is kind of dumb, but it's okay. It just looks more pleasing to my eye and it's more neat. So that's all that matters. Okay, so I ended up just doing a big one because I think it's like easier to eat and then these little ones, I don't know exactly how much has to go into them, but I'll probably do something else with these, like maybe a mini cheesecake or something. I'm not sure yet, but I just want to go ahead and put this in the oven and then it will be done in, I like putting it in for an hour and 10 minutes because it gets a little bit harder, but if you put it in for an hour, it will be super moist. So that's what it's looking like right now. This is the banana bread done. This is my side. That's my boyfriend's side. I thought the brittle was going to be hard, but it feels like really soft. And then some of the chips got burnt, but he'll still eat it, so it's fine. It looks so yummy. It just has to cool off. I'm going to make this for dinner. It's $22.18 at H Mart. You can find them like for a dollar or two dollars cheaper or more expensive, whichever you want, but it's based on how many ounces it is. So this one is 1.85. This is my dinner for tonight. We're having galbi. My boyfriend already ate, but having it with some rice, kimchi, and then I'm also wrapping some of it in the lettuce, just so I don't eat as much rice as I usually do. And that's my dinner. And then I had this cookie with some tea earlier, but it's too sweet for me. Look at all of the meat that just got finished. That was so much. This looks like, it looks like blood, but it wasn't like bloody. Like, I don't know why it looks like 10 times worse there. It's still, there still is some meat on there, but we ate so much that I'm so full right now. So I'm just gonna clean up in three, two, one. just came in my cat's like going crazy on the bed but i want to unbox this with you guys so let's go ahead and do that i just finished dinner and all of that so i got the 64 gig because i already pay for apple storage i pay like 200 gigs i think so it didn't really matter i usually always get my phones with 256 but i found that more and more i didn't really need that much because i already pay for it and this one was cheaper because I just like didn't care so for um anyway that's what it looks like um uh, just to let you guys know I did have the iPhone 10 it's just the iPhone 10 not 
10s um i got the 10 when it first launched and it actually got water damage when i went to punta mita because i took it in the water and apple said that they said it's water resistant not waterproof and i've done it before but then they were trying to charge me 600 dollars to fix it so i thought with just 100 dollars more i might as well just get a new phone so that was that i'm using the iphone 6 right now just because that's what i had to revert to when i didn't have a phone but then I just decided to go ahead and get this because I was comparing the two and it didn't really seem like there was a lot that was different besides the camera. I do know that the other one does have an OLED, OLED display, which is I think what my iPad Pro has. I'm not sure. Let me know. I have the 11 inch, but I do think that that was the same screen that was on the iPhone 10. But I felt like because it kind of flickered a little bit, um, I was okay with just the LED display. Just a few like disclaimers so anyway you guys saw i just took the package took it out of the package this is what it looks like wow it's so pretty i love the matte detailing here and then wow i haven't done that in a while i was planning on keeping my iphone 10 for maybe two more years. I really didn't have an issue with it. I really love the phone. I love the camera. I thought it was okay. I do wish that it didn't zoom in when you took a video, but um, I like that this one has a wide lens and my screen protector and my case is not gonna come from Amazon until Friday because I think they're backed up with orders. I really like the glass um, back just because I feel like it looks really like luxe and cool. I didn't really like the matte back the matte backing for the other phones and I wanted it in white and I don't know if the iPhone the pro comes in white I'm honestly not exactly sure I knew that this one was the one I wanted because it was cheaper and I just needed something but it's super cute and then it says Apple designed by Apple in California and then you get the stickers and the instructions in there. But it comes with the headphones. It also comes with a charger. And I already have a fast lightning charger, so I don't think I'm gonna use that. And then it also comes with a cube. So these are all just accessories that I don't really use anyway. So I'm just gonna put them back. I only take it out for emergencies if I accidentally lose one. So I'm just gonna put everything back like that. I really liked the iPhone 10. like I said. I do wish that I would've been able to keep it for just a little bit longer. I really like the display and I like how small it was. I just love the color of this one and I wish that I would have gotten black in the iPhone 10 S, uh, the iPhone 10. I don't have the 10 S, it's just the 10. So this is just the regular 10. I do have a glass, I have a blue light, um, a blue light glass protector on it. It's in perfect condition, but it does have water damage on it. So like I said, Apple was trying to charge me five something to fix it. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get a new phone because I can make payments on this and it's not like a large, a large lump sum of money. You can see that's the difference between the silver. I really like the steel on the side, but I don't like how it got scratched all the time. So I'm happy that this is actually aluminum because I don't think you'll see the scratches more. And I really loved this phone, like this was one of my favorites. Before this one, I did have a 7 Plus, and then before that, I had the 6. Those are all the ones that I've had. I'm trying to turn it on, but it's not turning on. And the reason why I got this one was because I know that they still sell the 10s, but I felt like felt like I wanted something just a little bit bigger, and this one is a little bit bigger than the 10, so just like the tiniest bit bigger. I'm going to go ahead and set this up. Okay, so I'm just going to back up the phone right now just to make sure everything's in my iCloud. But I just love all the functions for it. I like the face detection. It like automatically did a backup, but I'm hoping that everything for my 10 is gonna get backed up to this one. But I can't turn this on like at all. The battery basically fried, it was so hot. And I thought it was gonna be fine because I've taken it in the water before, but I guess because this time I didn't have a case on it, it was worse. I'm just like, I was really sad over this because I really wanted to keep this phone for like a few more years. There was nothing wrong with it. I still really liked it. Do I not need a SIM card for this? Oh yeah, yeah it does. It's right here. I'm so dumb. Okay, well, this is still uploading. I will come back and show you guys, but I'm so happy. Wait, should I show this too? I'm just missing the seven. So yeah, I'm so happy I have this one. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys the phone. Let's continue on with the vlog. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.